Hi viewers, welcome to POS23. Today we are going to demonstrate a short user manual video on POS23. Let me show the items of POS23 module which includes dashboard, reports and configuration. Let's see what are the subsections under these sections. Under dashboard orders we have orders, sessions and products. For reports we have orders and sale details. Then under configuration we have settings, point of sale, pause product categories, payment methods, barcode nomenclatures and mercury configurations. For accessing this module we have created two access panel. So you will have the admin panel through which branch manager or any dedicated authority can access and that panel has access to all the sections of the module. And the other one is the user panel for branch users through which individual salesperson can sell products and can check the invoice history of their own sessions. Now let's take a tour on how POS23 works. From this module, multiple sessions can be created. In each session, one user can enter at a time. Branch manager can access all the sessions under his in charge, where branch user can access only the session assigned to him. You can generate a sales order from the main POS session. It takes just few seconds to load the server. Then you can select a product through the barcode scanner or through the click of the mouse on the products. Product can be searched from the search menu at the top right corner of the screen. After that you have to select some products. You can add discounts on total price if you want. Then to close the transaction just click on the payment menu. In this stage, you have to select a payment method. If you select the cash method, you have to write the tendered amount and validate your invoice right away and get your receipt. Before selling in credit to customer, customers should have the credit limit. Pause will not allow excess of the credit limit and will not permit users to sell in credit. If you select credit option, Set tendered price, select customers from customer list, set customer, click the invoice button and validate. You will get your invoice received along with the PDF format. If you are offline through the whole day, no worries at all. You have to click the red Wi-Fi button at the top right corner of the screen at the end of the day with internet connection. Then the stock will update it in main warehouse and the button will go green with updating stock automatically. At the end of the day to close the session, click on the close button. Click again on the validate closing and post entries button of the point of sale. On this page, user will see a summary of the transactions. Moving forward to the dashboard sales section. From orders, user can see all the order details. User can also analyze reports from group by and filters option. From sessions, user can see the session details. By selecting product section, user can see available products in his or her pause. He or she can also search products from the search bar at the top right corner of the screen. User can also create new products by setting the name product code, sale price, cost price, etc. In the report section, user can analyze the orders. Analyzed reports can be generated in Excel. In sales details section, by selecting a specific section, session including the start date and end date, report can be printed and also will be available in PDF format. Under configuration section by selecting point of sale you can see the list of pause sessions including the stock location. Plus you can also create a new pause session. In pause product category section user can see the product category list and can create a new type of product category. In payment methods section user can see the list of payment methods. Plus he or she can create a new type of payment method. So this was a short demonstration of our POS23 module. For more details, please contact us with the information on the screen. Thanks for watching.